Did you know that in traditional feng shui, the front door is a big deal? When feng shui is used during the construction of a new home or office building, several principles and techniques, including the bagua and the flying star, are employed to determine the building's best facing direction and the location of the front door. It is done to harness the specific type of qi energy that is beneficial for wealth and prosperity. The front door is an opening through which the qi enters the building, and so it is called the mouth of qi. I'm Natalia Kalin. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will consider feng shui for your front door. I will share seven tips on how to make the energy around your front door stronger and better, so you can invite prosperity, wealth and happiness into your home. And if you stay to the end, there will be a special bonus. People have been fascinated with the doors in many cultures throughout the time and history. Just to emphasize how important the front door is, feng shui masters in the past would even suggest to relocating your front door to the area of the house where the qi is the most beneficial for wealth. For most of us, changing the position of the existing front door is out of question. But luckily, even if the placement of the door is not the best, according to the formulas and rules, there are several things you can do to improve the energy around your door to make it more inviting and auspicious for wealth. Tip number one. It's beneficial if the door is beautiful and captivating, not appearing as a cheap, standard, boring afterthought, but rather something that looks appealing and stands out. We love red doors in feng shui, but the truth is your door doesn't have to be red to be a good feng shui door. To pick the right color for that door uh, is a special topic and deserves a separate video. You can find the link to this video in the description. Let me emphasize it. It's important that you love your front door. It should make you feel welcomed and proud when you approach the house. It's good if it feels welcoming and beautiful to your visitors as well. So the first thing is the door itself. If you're considering remodeling and changing the door, choose one with some glass elements, but not overly so. An excessive amount of glass would be undesirable. This would be too much. Glass all the way from top to bottom is not a good idea. In this case, it doesn't feel secure enough. In feng shui terms, the qi is leaking. But some reasonable amount of glass makes it beautiful and interesting. Okay, not everyone is remodeling their house and changing their door too often. Here are the things that everyone can do. Tip number two, you can enhance your door. Hang a beautiful wreath or flower basket on the door. Wreaths or baskets are usually eye-catching and they are good enhancers of energy. Anything that is tasteful and goes well with the color of your door will do. They can be seasonal, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Most importantly, whichever gives you joy to look at. Look for the correct size. It shouldn't be too small or too big. In feng shui, the direction southeast relates to wealth. If your front door happens to be in the southeast, then purple color is very beneficial for wealth and prosperity. If your front door happened to be in the northwest, introducing white or yellow color is great there. The direction northwest relates to helpful people and indirectly influences wealth. Tip number three, place two planters with plants on each side of the door. Plants relate to wealth in feng shui. They can be artificial like these lovely topiaries. They can be real if you are up to taking care of them and watering them. The last thing you want is unhappy plants by your front door. You can enjoy some special planters. If you uh, like to take a closer look at some of these beautiful things I'm showing throughout the video, I added some links to the description. They're mostly from Amazon. The plants really do make your front door special and prosperous. This is a good example of how the red flowers uplift and spark the energy around this door that otherwise would be a bit low. The word of advice here, make sure uh, not to block the entrance. This is very beautiful, but a bit much. 
you can see that the door is not prominent here anymore. And this is quite a narrow opening and feels cluttered. In these cases, the energy is being somewhat uh, prevented from entering the house. Tip number four, place a good quality and good looking doormat outside of your front door. It's not only an aesthetic thing, but useful and functional. They can be very simple and elegant, or they can be interesting and even somewhat mysterious. I prefer them interesting and fun. Why not something fun, right? Tip number five. It's great to have two lights on both sides of the door. It feels stable, harmonious and balanced this way. If you don't have them or have only one light or feel like it's time to get something beautiful and new, you can find several good choices on Amazon or lamps.com. Lights are awesome energy enhancers. They give a big boost to the energy around your front door and they look really good. Tip number six, make sure the door is not broken or stuck and opens and closes easily or as it should. Also make sure your main door or any other door you use opens freely and all the way. In other words, there is no stuff or furniture preventing it from fully opening. In both cases, it would make you feel irritated or even stress upon entering. The energy is not being welcomed to enter the house. Tip number seven. If you have two doors, a main door and a mudroom door, and rarely, rarely use the main entrance, or if you mostly enter from the garage, it's beneficial to open the main door occasionally, especially on sunny days to allow energy to circulate and refresh. If you're not using the front door, the energy becomes stagnant there, and this can weaken the energy in the area where you want it to be fresh and strong. And here comes the bonus. In addition to all the things we can do with decor and color, sometimes I like to use talismans. At some point, I will make the entire episode about talismans, what they are and how they work. But for now, let's say uh, they are objects that have a special meaning and their use is aimed for a specific outcome. In our case, we are aiming to invite more prosperity into our home. A classical feng shui talisman in this case would be six coins tied by the string. You can hang a six Chinese coins on your front doorknob, better inside than outside. Six feng shui coins represent wealth and help from heaven. Starting 2024, number nine becomes very important. and will represent wealth as well. So even better hang nine coins on your front door to invite wealth. You can also use bells and chimes to generate some beautiful sound, which also enhances the qi energy. Wind chimes can be loud if it's windy. Use them only if it's enjoyable to you and not too much disruption for neighbors. I really like these Corinthian Midnight Blue Six Roads Wind Chimes. I hope you feel inspired to make some changes to your front door and around it to enhance the energy and invite more wealth and prosperity to your home. If you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you like, subscribe and share. See you soon!